What's going on guys, Mark here from Noisy Pixel and we are back with another new Noisy Pixel tech video and today we have a new mouse on the field and this mouse is known as the MM712 by Cooler Master. Thank you so much Cooler Master for sending this out. It's been a little bit since we have done a video but you know, nevertheless, here we are doing it again. I chose white on this mouse. They have a black option, but I have to say, I think they changed up their packaging quite a bit. And I know you guys give me hate for talking about a box, but here we are, we're talking about the box because Cooler Master changed it. And I think it's pretty cool. It's got a nice new design. If you didn't know already, this mouse is like hybrid. So you can have it wired, you can have it with a dongle and you could also have it with Bluetooth. Nonetheless, let's jump right into the unboxing. So there's just two tabs at the top and then it, opens just like that. Oh, I just ripped it. I'm sad. Here we go. It's kind of just stuck in there and it slides right out. This is our mouse. But before we do the fun parts, we are gonna slide everything out of this box. Everything is falling out. So box on the ground and they have this cardboard sleeve, cardboard sleeve on the ground. So we're left with in the box. This is a USB-C to USB adapter. So I actually did not know this but they did provide rubber grips. They usually do that on some mouses or mice, I don't know. I really didn't know it came with it. So that is cool on Cooler Master. I like that they throw this in there if you prefer to have like a rubber grip on the mouse or if you just prefer the raw like plasticky kind of material feel. But let's keep going. We have the manual that can go on the ground and then we have the USB-C to USB cable to charge or to play wired, whatever you prefer, but Nowadays, wireless is just too good. I mean, I used to be a, I mean, I'm actually using a wired Cooler Master mouse right now, but the wire is really light, but nonetheless, wireless is so good nowadays, you really don't need to use a wire. So, I mean, even though I am using a wire, I tell you to use wireless. We're gonna remove the mouse out of the sleeve, sleeve on the ground, and this is the reveal of the mouse here. Pretty nice mouse, sleek looking. I like the matte color and I actually like this design right here, this little groove pattern thing, whatever you want to call it. I enjoy it. So there is a dongle flap on the bottom, which seems like it's going to break every time and it just comes right out and there is our dongle. So that's pretty cool for the price of this mouse that they provide all of these different options and it does feel well made in my hand and lightweight, which is a selling point. The wheel actually feels well made and also lightweight. So it's like, it's not too heavy. So it might feel cheap to some people that like think weight means well made, but this is a pretty decent feeling mouse wheel. And we do have two side buttons on the left side. So fairly simple mouse and it really just gets the job done. On the bottom, we could see that we have the pair button for Bluetooth and we have the switch for switching between modes. But, oh, it's actually got some battery, look, it lit up already, that is awesome. So it does come with some battery life. And honestly, the LED, it just looks really good. So far, I'm kind of impressed with this mouse. I might even convert to this mouse. The USB cable is very lightweight and braided. Same cable as the MM711 mouse, if you're familiar with that Cooler Master mouse. But yeah, well made. Anyway, everyone, I wanna say thank you for making it through this part of the video, and we're going to move on to the review section. So this has been Mark from Noisy Pixel. Thank you, and stick around for my opinion of the MM712. Sometimes, I feel as though we get too stuck in our ways. We use the same gear and brands, and it's comfortable that way. Still, change can be good. I fear change too. And one of my biggest scares is when someone tries to tell me to use a new computer mouse. In particular, the new one I'm referring to is the Cooler Master MM712. As I said, I'm always skeptical of new gear, but the peer pressure proved this piece of hardware worthwhile. The MM712 is simple, yet stylish, made of composite plastics that host a fine gritty texture on the body. It's a fairly prominent texture, but it's not overly rough, and I feel like it adds a natural grip to the mouse. It also has quite a unique feel you rarely find on mice. With this type of mouse, I would probably leave the provided rubber grips off of the unit as there is a pleasant texture already, yet to each their own. Also, this will likely easily stain, so be careful with your nachos. 
The mouse's body has creative futuristic looking cuts and grooves to add a bit more design flair, and it does stand out. Instead of being basic, Cooler Master cares about aesthetics, which goes a long way here. As for the mouse wheel, it's just okay. It doesn't necessarily feel cheap, but it's probably the part where the mouse lacks the most in build quality. It's made of rubber and has no adjustable sensitivity. Spinning the wheel has relatively fine notches for scrolling input, and it makes it easy. Additionally, the wheel has a dead zone between the notches where the wheels spin. There's a point where nothing is registered until the mouse wheel is fully seated into the notch. Moving on, the MM712 weighs in at 58 grams, proving to be very light in your hand, feeling like a cloud. It fits most hand sizes reasonably well too. The mouse is on the medium to small scale. Still, it accommodates large paddles for a more clickable surface area. Feel free to grip the mouse however you please, Though keep in mind that if you choke up too much, it will be near impossible to click. Regarding the paddles, the clicks are a bit sticky for my taste, yet their emitted sound is neat, although the right click is a bit stickier than the left. I find this to be a common design choice for most mice. Further, the mouse is rated for 70 million clicks, so get spammy gamers. The mouse paddles are a great example of judging a book by its cover because I was so used to a more sensitive mouse, requiring less pressure to click than the MM712. After some time, the pedal's construction was very pleasing to me, and it especially gave my brain some breathing room to click a bit more intently and intensely, which was a nice change of pace. Anyway, we see our favorite and modern USB-C port centered in front of the MM712 that charges with a USB-A on the other end. The mouse charged fully in about two hours when plugged into standard USB port. The provided braided cable color matched and is exceptionally lightweight if you choose to game plugged in. I can also tell you that the battery life is exceptional, providing days of worry-free charge. I have to charge about every three to five days based on my use. By spec, the battery is 500 milliamps with 180 hours of Bluetooth and 60 hours of 2.4 gigahertz dongle wireless usage. Granted, these numbers are with the LED off. The RGB light is actually quite bright and sharp. Granted, it covers a minimal surface area. Also, the LED clearly doesn't diminish the battery life too much because this thing just never dies, so stay lit everyone. One quick note, the battery life is indicated by red and green when charging or about to die. Also, the software does not tell you a battery percentage, but rather provides you a numberless graphic. Cooler Master's MM712 holds a total of 5 buttons. It's 6 if you include the DPI button on the bottom, which has 8 presets you can customize up to 19,000 DPI through Cooler Master's Master Plus software. As for the bottom of the mouse, you see 3 pure PTFE material mouse glides offering just enough grip while providing a smooth response to your mouse pad for accurate movements. Besides the mouse sensor, the bottom of the mouse hosts the hybrid mode switch allowing the user to toggle between blue Bluetooth, high fidelity wireless, and wired. Although you cannot be connected to multiple devices at once, you can seamlessly switch between Bluetooth and wireless if you are set up for it, granting this mouse universal features. The MM712 also has a pairing button with an indicator light to connect to a new Bluetooth device more easily. For about $60, the MM712 offers a lot of versatility, along with being wireless as an added bonus. Lastly, as per usual on some Cooler Master mice, the dongle door at the bottom is cheaply made, yet practical, and it seems easily breakable. Just be careful how you pull it. To get more specific now, it's hard to say anything negative about the Cooler Master MM712. Nowadays, tech is so responsive, it's impossible to feel any performance lag via wired or dongle wireless, so the performance conversation tends to lean towards customer experience, bugs, things like that. You may face a little more input delay on Bluetooth, but that is expected. The MM712 offers various customizable features through Cooling Master's Master Plus software, including but not limited to DPI, polling rate, liftoff response, and more. This is pretty standard today, as all the brands compete for user experience and hardware integration rather than performance. I won't list all the features here, but just know there is a lot. Moreover, a feature in the Master Plus software for their mice is called Mouse Combo. This feature defaults the mouse wheel as a toggle for a whole new set of macro keys and presets for the MM712 on the fly. This is not to be confused with the various profiles you can save and cycle, but even another layer to add more buttons to the mouse. I don't know if I will use it, 
but I can see this as a huge selling point. If you want, you can add the provided rubber grips to the mouse if it is a bit too slippery for your taste. I like to leave them off, though the mouse looks pretty cool with them on. Adding to this futuristic design, whatever route you choose, the desk will still look good. After long sessions of use, I never experience any pain or cramps worth noting, but everyone is different. I tend to be a more palm grip person, although I spontaneously change depending on the game. Also, the mouse is symmetrical and ambidextrous, although only buttons on the left. I did find the left macro buttons are a bit more optimized towards claw grippers as my thumb falls more centered on the buttons in the claw grip rather than my palm. So that's something to consider if you like customizable buttons. Let's get really specific now and break down a minor bug I had. On day two of using the mouse, either the new sensor or the DPI was stuttering and acting glitchy, making it unusable for gaming. Resetting the mouse seems to fix this bug, and I haven't troubleshot other methods as the first appeared to resolve the issue. Additionally, remember that a quick and easy way to reset the mouse is to switch to wired mode and then go back to wireless. I haven't had the bug happen since, still that doesn't mean it won't seek revenge later. The mouse is labeled for PC and mobile supporting any Windows operating system post Windows 8, Android, iOS, and Mac OS. The Cooler Master MM712 mouse is a relatively simple yet effective product that covers most use cases while maintaining a lightweight form factor. The mouse also wins in aesthetics as it provides a throwback to early 2000s technology, at least in my opinion. Anyway, besides the minor components of this mouse feeling a bit tacky, such as the mouse wheel and the dongle door, the MM712 is a great piece of hardware. Oh yeah, the wireless can be a bit weird sometimes and needs a reset occasionally. But other than that, there isn't much to complain about. The wire is well made, the battery is good enough, and it's portable and basically universal. I might even make this mouse my new main. Noisy Pixel is giving the Cooler Master MM712 hybrid gaming mouse an A. Post statement, I still have yet to find a mouse that puts the side buttons in the right place for my big hands. I stopped bringing up that point in reviews because I've come to the conclusion that my hands are too big. Also, the dongle should be color matched. That is all. Noisy Pixel is a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content. See ya, nerds. <laughs>